What's up guys, Cody here with the final item video, the final end up item video, this one talking about Ethereal Swords. Oh, and I'm a little tired, I'm a little tired here, but we're going to get through this. Just as a reminder, I've got videos on all the other items up on my channel. I uh, highly suggest you go check them out if you haven't already. So, uh, for the swords, uh, they're pretty much like the heavy AD items of the game. And I've looked at some of them, uh, but not all of them. So let's get into it. The Crimson Dragon Sword. 75% of the health gained through life steal sets the target ablaze, dealing magic damage in half second ticks over 3 seconds based on the amount healed. 500 damage over 3 seconds maximum. Ah! It depends how much you could actually lifesteal off of somebody. I can see it being used. I can see this being useful. But over something else. Over something else is the question. Um... I don't know. I know that like there's a scythe item that gives attack speed. If you don't really want the attack speed and you'd rather have this big 90 physical power instead, go for it. I imagine though, let me yeah, just double checking. Um I imagine though that these swords are going to be uh are going to cost more. Um and they're going to be one of the highest costing uh items in the game for ADs. So, yeah, do keep that in mind. Crystal Sword, I've already looked at before in other videos where I've referenced crit chance as well. Um, it gives a uh, critical damage is increased to 220%. gives a uh, crit chance in 80 uh, physical power. So this is probably going to be a staple build in any uh, like ADC crit build by default. Um, and then I guess like, uh, I, I mean, any AD crit build is probably going to want this as well. The ADCs also have Eon's Bow, but I think this is going to be better just because I think it's going to curve out better. And it's like 95 physical power is very nice. Um, and you can't have just a bunch of attack speed with no physical power um, in a crit build. So I think Crystal Sword is going to be pretty useful. Granted, once again, like you could get Eon's Bow and then get into like a Crimson Dragon Sword, but then, or um, I imagine. There's not another, no, there's not another item that gives crit chance. Oh, huh, not another sword that gives crit chance. So, yeah, definitely, I definitely sticking to my opinion that Crystal Sword is definitely going to be an ADC item. Uh, Destiny's Blade. On Destiny's Edge, Shrek an enemy with a basic attack inflicts them with a stack of Destiny, increasing their physical damage taken by 1% per stack up to 5 stacks. Upon reaching 5 stacks, the stacks rend their target, dealing 10% of their maximum health as magic damage. 60 second cooldown per enemy. Melee only! I hear I was thinking this would be pretty nice, but it's a melee only. So this goes with the melee um, melee on hit build. Um, It definitely helps the melee on hit build quite a bit because we just looked at the spear that will stack four attacks, but it only does the on-hit effects twice, but still. Still. Really good. Um, it's mostly better against, like, tankier targets. So, not necessarily something that you would want early on, and going to probably have a high cost as well. So maybe, like, a third item for the build. I like it. I like it. And it, it like you don't even need it for the you don't even need it for the build, but you probably will. Okay. Heaven's Blade. Every fourth melee strike on an enemy knocks them up for one second. This goes with Destiny's Blade as well. Um and goes with that on hit build. Uh yeah. Yeah, this on hit fighter build. Looking scary if it can actually be effectively. Now, to, to note though, this like one second stun, not like it's it's not super important. You don't you don't need this item, I would imagine. I would imagine you get away without it. A ten second cooldown per enemy though means that like if like up against a tank, it's it'll be used. And actually, that's per enemy. So 
Um, I, I think just overall, there might be better items than this that you could utilize. Overall, though, very interesting. Obviously, Crystal Sword out of this bunch is like the most default item. Um, Crimson Dragon Sword, uh, eh. This is the only one where I'm like, it's like I'm just like, eh. You know, like there there might be better items available than this. Um So we'll see about this one. And then Destiny Blade and Heaven's Blade are fighter items. Uh so the, all that depends on how good of a fighter how good like fighters actually can be in a meta. Um so yeah. Honestly this that wasn't much, that much exciting in here outside of a few speculation things. But that finally finishes up all of the items this was the last video i was doing and my voice is shot guys <laughs> oh and i'm tired it's late for me i gotta get all these videos up by tomorrow so thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did remember to like and subscribe i'm slurring my words i think but i'm, I'm done with this now i'm tired um as a reminder videos on all the other items up on my channel and I stream over on twitch twitch.tv slash cw5136 streaming mostly league of legends right now but if I can stream ethereal when it comes out Noah's goddamn hells I will that <laughs> know that I will be thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one